Hello everyone, Paul here. Today I'm going to go over probably my last strategy video when it comes to, you know, pick three, pick four. And today I'll be talking about pick five. Uh, now pick five is, uh, it's, a, it's a, a lottery game that's not available in all the states. Uh, and if you want to play this game, uh, if you want to play this game, uh, you won't probably... It, it, have to play it online because it's not available it's only available in like florida and some other states so if you do want to play this it's the same rules apply it's like pick three and pick four but instead you're dealing with five numbers so today i'm going to kind of teach you guys uh how to get more hits on this uh this strategy mainly is for uh box and uh because it's extremely hard and there's extremely there's a there's probably a there's a lot of combinations to you know if you if you get a straight now uh, I looked it up online if you manage to get all numbers in straight with a pick five it you'll you'll get about twenty two thousand if you can manage to get all five numbers and you do it online but if you do a box. Uh, you can make some pretty decent. I think it's around 150 to 200 if you can get a box. Now, the only thing about this strategy is, uh, since there's five numbers, it's there's more numbers that are you know with a double where one uh, two numbers are different and the other uh, all the other numbers are different. Or you can have the alternative to where all all numbers are different. So both both of those scenarios can come out to where it can come out in any draw, so you you your chance of losing is more because there's more numbers. But if you do manage to hit uh, one of them it, it, with with a box, you, you'll make around a hundred, hundred and fifty or something around there. Uh, but today I kind of want to go over the strategy to uh, to be more accurate and to get all five numbers. I'm not going to be focusing on getting straights because well. It would take a lot of combinations. I mean, with pick four, it would take a lot of combinations. So I'm going to focus really on uh, getting all the numbers for a box. So let's uh, let's look into that strategy. Okay, so we're going to look into my pick three here uh, real quick. Now, the same rules apply for pick three and pick four uh, that I've talked about, and that is the number. Let's go look at, let's look at pick five real quick, and I'll show you. We go to Florida, and we'll find a pick five. Now you'll notice that what I talked about in my previous videos is the number nine comes out a lot, and that same rule applies for this. You got to find the numbers. Uh, the first thing that you got to do is, much like I talked about in the last couple videos, is focus on uh, the front pair or the back pair. I like focusing on the back pair. So what you want to do first is you want to go through your list. Now, similar to similar to what I've done for pick three, is you want to go through your uh, your list. You want to go through zero zero to nine nine. And then you want to go through, you want to go through the pick five, and you want to go, and you want want to cross out every time those two numbers appear, either in the front or the back. I always focus on the back. So what I would do in this situation is I would go through and I would make a list of zero zero to ninety nine, and then I would look through all the numbers. I would look through all the numbers of uh, pick five and. I would cross those, the numbers that came out, like, you know, 15, 6, 10, 64, I've, I would cross those out. And I would cross it out to a point to where you're left with only, when you're left with about 50 numbers. So even with 50 numbers, you still have a lot of combinations. So the next step you want to do is, much like I talked about in the last video, is you want to find the combinations where three of the numbers add up to nine. And what you will find is, it, it, with pick five, there's it happens more frequently than pick four because there's you know there's five numbers and you're dealing with only three numbers that have to add up to nine. Uh, 
you have five numbers in here, but th only three of the numbers have got to add up to nine. So that happens a lot. If we if we look at all these here, we'll we'll see that a lot of the numbers add up to nine. So let's just look at a couple of them here. This first one wouldn't add up to nine six seven. Well, actually, yeah, actually, this would. This this kind of proves my point here. <laughs> 8 plus 1 plus 0 is 9. That's three numbers. So let's see if any other number adds up to 9. Uh, 5, 6, 7. We got 6, 7, 8. No, so none, 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 no numbers here add up to 9. 6, 7, 8. That doesn't add up to 9. So we got 8 plus 1 plus 0. That adds up to 9. Uh, 5, 6, 8. None of those add up to 9. Uh, see, we got to have three numbers that add up to nine. Uh, seven, five, none of those add up to nine. Um, three numbers that add up to nine. None, I don't think any five, six, seven, eight, five. No, those are all too high. Uh, eight plus one plus zero, that adds up to nine. Uh, let's see. Six plus two plus one, that adds up to nine. Uh, let's see, seven. Let's see, six plus one plus two, six, seven, eight, nine. So that adds up to nine. Uh, five, let's see, five, six, seven, five, six, seven, eight. So those are all too high. Uh, let's see, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five, let's see. 5, 6, 7, yeah, 5 plus 2 plus 2, that adds up to 9. Uh, let's do a couple more here. Uh, now those add up to 9. We got 3, uh, 6, 7, 8, yeah, 6 plus 2 plus 1, that adds up to 9. And let's do a couple more. Let's see, 5 plus 4 adds up to 9. 5 plus 4 plus 0 adds up to 9. And... 6 plus 2 plus 1, that adds up to 9. So you can see that it happens more often than uh, than actually pick 4. It happens more often. So what do you do after you get uh, the three numbers? You have your back-end numbers. You got your back-end numbers. You have your 50 numbers. You have your 50 numbers from your back-end here, and you, you don't change your position. So... Uh, the 50 numbers that you erase and the 50 numbers that you do have stay, they stay in the back end. The goal here is to actually hit because those numbers are more likely to hit more than any of the numbers. So the only thing you got to focus on is you basically just have to take your back end numbers, which is uh, the last 50 numbers that you already got, and you just have to wheel out and think of every possible combination that adds up to nine. So from your back end numbers, from your back end numbers, you you got to find you got to figure out every possible combination that adds up to nine. Remember, all three of the numbers have got to add up to nine. So you have to kind of wheel each of them out. You got to make sure you don't miss any kind of combination because with five numbers it, it's there could be a lot and uh, you don't want to miss a single combination because it's easy to miss a combination because uh, what you can do let's just let's just say that I'm willing it out real quick and I'm working with let me just go let me just give give you guys an example here real quick let's just do it a quick example Now, if I was doing this on my, by myself here, let's just say that your back end number is zero one, and let's just say the back end number is zero nine. So, with doing pick five, with doing pick five, what I would basically be doing is thinking of all the combinations that add up to nine, every possible combination. So, what I first said, I would look at nine. Well, nine. So that would actually I would do 
we say three of the numbers add up to nine, so that'd be zero, zero, nine, zero, zero, nine. We could also go with zero, one. We could also do, if we start with like eight, now remember three of the numbers have got to add up to nine. So what I would do here is what numbers eight plus, we got eight plus one, so we already have 8 plus 1, that's 9, so the, that would have to be a 0. 8 plus 1 equals 9. And we got uh, 0, 1, and 7, let's say 7. So we got 7, 7, 8, and let's see, we got 1 and 0. Let's do another one real quick. So out of the zero one, basically let's work with six. So let's just say three. So we got three, so it's six, seven, eight, nine, and another zero. So that's kind of a combination. That's kind of what you have to do uh, when wheeling out the numbers because you're going to have to go through all, all the different numbers. And you want to play these as a box. The next thing you want to do is you want to figure out, there's two kinds of numbers that come out. It's either all the numbers are different, or there's at least a repeat of one of the numbers. What I found as there's a repeat of one of the numbers, the ones that have a repeat of the same number usually come out more because there's, there's more combinations of two of the numbers being the same. So I would personally stick with two, two, uh, the two of the numbers being the same. Uh, but you can do both, but you'll lose some some of the times here. You got to you got to focus on one of them. I do it when there's a double. But anyway, that is how I kind of play. Once I wheel out the numbers, you know, all numbers have to add up to nine. Once I wheel out the numbers, uh, I'll play it as a box because. No, you could try and do it, and you, you could try and get, get a straight. If you do win a straight, you, you'll make about 22000 you know, online. Uh, but it's a, there's a lot of combinations that you would have to hit. So I would, with doing pick five, I would, I would focus on uh, just doing box for now. Until you get really good at it and doing this strategy and wheeling out numbers, and if you if you actually see that you're getting a lot of hits, then you know you can try it. But there, it's a lot more combinations, and you you can actually end up losing. So anyway, I would I would do a box. But anyway, that's what I do with pick five. Uh, this so this is kind of the like the last lottery strategy that I'm going to do, and these are all the the strategies that I do to uh, get my numbers. I think they're really effective. Uh, this all started when I, you know, when I learned about focusing on the back pair, front pair, and then I kind of, a uh, light bulb went off and I kind of figured out all these new strategies and I wanted to share it with everybody. So, uh, I'm probably not going to be going over any other strategies when regarding pick, uh, pick three, pick four, pick five, because these are the ones that work for me. I don't need to make any other videos other than, you know, seeing that it works and showing you that it works. But I'll make I'll make videos on it when that does happen. But uh, for as far as strategy videos, this is probably gonna be the last one. Uh, if you guys do want numbers from me, I will be I will be posting uh, recommendations, and you guys want if you want me to pick your state, and you know for, whether it be pick three, pick four, pick five, just let me know and. I'll give you my suggestions, but it's not uh, it's not a guarantee because this is all gambling at the end of the day. But anyway, these are my strategies for pick three, pick four, pick five. Uh, I may go over I may go over one additional strategy tomorrow, but that'll be it for strategy videos when it comes to you know pick three, pick four, pick five. Anyway, if you guys like this video, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in future videos.